lunch time down. It is that time before it you is. eat that jam sandwich. I have got jam sandwiches again today. Um, I've got a swing on my phone. Someone sent a swing, they hit certain shots. I'm gonna try and get you to make the swing. So let's see if I can set the agenda mm -hmm. to make you make the movement he makes. Oh, it's not that easy. I might have to just tell you to make it and then you can tell me what shots you might want to hit as well. Mm. Might be fun trying to get you to try and do it. Yeah, I can, let, let's see where this goes. Well, try this way to start, right? I want you to have a strong grip. Uh, I, either uh, both hands? Yeah, both yeah. hands. Okay. I'm not saying this player has a strong grip, but right. I want the grip to be strong. Yeah. I want you to turn the club as you make a backswing. Yeah, nice strong grip. As you make a backswing, I want you to point the face at the ground. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to not hit the ball left of the line. So I want you to hit a full shot at full speed, yeah. and I want you to not hit the left of the line. Not go left. Yeah. So follow through felt high or low. Felt high out here. And then follow through felt as you came into it, back around like you were pushing up and out to the right, or did this it feel way. like you were going in to the left? This way, here. So why did you do all those things? Just trying to manage the face. Because the face wanted to do what? It was, if I've am if I'm got a strong grip, and I'm already like, hooding the club as we say on the way back, then, it, then, the, then the idea is that I would start, as I release that club through, that club face is just going to shut down and hit it left. And high or low? Low. De-lofting club. Low. Left. So we made you make his swing. Basically, I got you to manage the face in a way that, and then gave you the agenda of not going left. He complains of overswings, which we'll talk about in a second, and hooking. Yeah. And he's a big thruster. So look how far forward he's moving. Look how high his hands get, which he says he struggles with. All those things have to happen or he'll go left. Yeah. Or, I mean, I say have to. There's two ways he can manage this swing, basically. One way was the way he's doing it and the way you were doing it. Yeah. The other way of managing this swing is to do what I'm just about to show you in a second, and then there's a third way of then maybe changing things that make you not have to manage, possibly. So your way was perfect. So if I set the face where it's left and then tell you to keep it feeling like it's de-lofted and left, yeah. your option of high hands, his option of thrusting and high finish shoves it out there. Yeah. So I'll do one that, and you watch on the screen there. So I'm trying to keep that as hard. I mean, I'm really working to keep that right at the line. I failed, but not a bad effort considering how close to the path, how left that face was set. Yeah. I can do another management of those angles. So same star angle, pointing the face left. Still gonna try and keep the face down to the ground. Now what I'm gonna do is try and hit it this way. So you're more what you see DJ doing, kind of this held off massive turn. Watch how low my follow through can get. Yeah. So I'm now more around and I've succeeded at that. Like if I wanted to play tall golf with a strong grip, I would do that route, which is the route we see over and over and over again on tour. Yeah. You don't see the route you took. I know why you took it, because I don't think you'd work it out that way if you gave you enough shots and the way he's doing it. So if he doesn't want to change the management of the face. Can I just see that from this angle as well? Yeah, so yeah. he's going or what I did on that one is I went that way. Yeah. So I'm literally trying to get the path left of the face. So you're trying to almost pull the face across your body. Well, if the face is left, yeah. my path is more left of that, yeah. it'll cut. Yeah. That is, I like that's DJ through and through, isn't Correct, it? Correct, yeah. He is giving it bow, massive rotations, yeah. and then he's moving path left of the, what everyone wants to call a closed face to get a cut. So if he doesn't want to manage the face, these angles, you are going to have to do what I did there. You're going to have to rotate body loads, really feel like you're coming around with your follow through and the club's never overtaking you. Yeah. It's this kind of movement, none of this. Yeah. The other way, and we can't see quite from the video, is if I've got a golfer who comes in the studio doing that move, I want to see what their grip's doing, like, and they can't quite see it. I think your right hand is slightly strong, so too far under the club. So you need to watch grip videos, check your grip. If your grip, is not in a more neutral position, it's gonna destroy the face a little bit for you. And then you're choosing to manage it in the thrusting forward high hands way. So there's no point stopping those movements. If you stop them, you'll be worse. They're managing the, the twists of the face. So if you change your grip, that'll take the twist of the face out, 
but that won't help either because you'll do this. So if I go neutral grip with your movements that you just did, mm. high handle, you know where this is going. Just massive high right. Big push to the right hand side, that's going to be quite extreme. So if you're going to go neutral grip, I'm going to still want to see some rotation similar to the DJ answer that we just gave. You don't want to manage the face. And also I want you to try and feel that the head overtakes the handle. So the head is going to overtake the handle on the way through. None of this anymore. Head overtaking handle, not head overtaking handle. They're different axis of movement. Yeah. So for you, neutral grip, if that is going to be your answer, I want you to get more rotation and let that club overtake. If you just do the grip on its own, it won't work. If you do the two together, you'll start to get a more neutral flight. I've said it loads of times, changing a grip doesn't fix anyone. For most people, it wrecks them mm. because the grip, then in turn, their movements are match-ups. You take one of them out, they have no match-ups and the shots get worse. Often when you change a grip, You've then got to change your movement around that new grip to get them to marry up. You've got two options, DJ rotate around on your follow through or have a good assess of your grip, manage the face differently, a bit more turn and let the club overtake. Let me know this helps down there, hit the thumbs up button if you like the lunchtime fixes. Can I have one of your jam sandwiches Dan? I don't think I bought any. Mm, raspberries. Oh, I like that. So overswing, didn't mention it, come back to it in the video. If you put the camera on the ground, this guy looks like he's got the camera on the floor. The lower that camera is, the more your swing will look longer compared to a high camera. So don't be filled with that. Also, the overswing is the least of your worries. And for lots of people, it's not even a problem. Thanks all for watching. Remember, ring the bell. Yeah, ring that. YouTube likes it. Thanks for watching.